hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to take you through my self-care routine these are basically things i do weekly to make myself look somewhat decent so if you're interested keep watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this so first things first guys i'm going to start with my hair care routine so what i do weekly is i put in a hair mask into my hair especially after i've exposed my hair to heat like you can see here um my curls are non-existent so i'm trying to bring that back so what i do is i put in this mask for like 30 minutes and i just run it through my hair and then i comb it through as well So as you guys can see, my curls are still alive, thank god. Um, so this mask, I just really like it personally. I feel like it reverses the heat damage that I could potentially be exposed to. So what I'm going to do now is wrap it up and let it sit for like 30 minutes to an hour. So then I go ahead and rinse out the hair mask. So I like to do this in the shower because I just find it a lot easier to do it this way. Um, I just rinse it out, making sure every bit of the product is out because you do not want some residue left over. You wanna make sure your scalp is clean. So then as an extra step, I go in with some shampoo to make sure it is fully clean. Um, I'm really big on making sure that there's no product left over. So that's why I go in with some shampoo after. Um, and then I just run this through using this scalp massager that I got on Amazon. I really like this. I just find it so soothing and like therapeutic. So I really enjoy this step of the hair care routine. And this is me rinsing it out, just running it through like I did. Um, it's really important not to brush your hair in the shower because it can lead to like breakage and stuff. So I just literally just use my fingers. So this is my hair after the shower. As you can see guys, shrinkage is real. Um, my hair literally shrivels up so much. But yeah, so it's nice and clean, which is the goal here, as you can probably see. Um, yeah. So next up, I'm going in with this face mask from The Ordinary. This is like a crucial part of my weekly routine because this face mask is so, so good. I absolutely love it. Like it's a necessity for me. I use it because sometimes my skin gets really dull and I just need something to brighten my complexion and just make me look a little bit glowy. And this face mask definitely does it. It's a chemical peel, so it does the job just like it says it does. And I do only use this once a week, you guys, because it is strong, um, but I absolutely love it. After I rub it into my skin, I let it sit for 10 minutes, like it says on the box, and then I literally just rinse it off. So for the past few weeks now, I've been using these skincare products from Kampa Cosmetics. And these products have become a huge part of my skincare routine, you guys. Because if you aren't new to my channel, you will know how much I love tea tree oil, how much I go on about it, and how much I love natural products. So this company really just ticked all the boxes for me. 
So firstly, I'm using the Tea Tree Facial Cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser, you guys. And I've been looking for a Tea Tree based cleanser for the longest time possible. So this one was absolutely perfect for me. And the really, really big thing is it has salicylic acid in it, which is a good acne fighting ingredient. So I just really like the combination of the Tea Tree oil and the salicylic acid. So yeah, this product has really reacted well with my skin. so look how bright and glowy my skin looks i took some pictures before i started using these products so i'm going to insert that in as well so you guys can see the clear difference in my skin so then i go in with their lotus green tea cleanser i'm like a really big fan of double cleansing so i like to use a second cleanser and especially after using like a really strong chemical peel i just like something that's got green tea in it because green tea will soothe your skin and it will just calm down all that redness that you might be going through so yeah guys look how bright and glowy my skin looks i just really really like these products i'm gonna go in with the oil in the next steps as well so you guys can see how that looks as well on my skin but yeah so far so good so now it's time for my lip care routine so this part is very simple you guys i make my own lip scrub using brown sugar honey and oil you can literally use any oil of your choice. I use vitamin E oil, but sometimes I use olive oil. It's a literally entirely up to you. So I gently exfoliate my lips using this scrub. So the key word here is gently. You do not want to do it so harshly. So I just make sure I gently do this in like little circular motions like so. And I do this for like a minute, um, 30 seconds to a minute really. That's all you need. So this is how my lips look after I rinse them. As you can see, they are a lot brighter and they feel just so soft. This is what I mean, guys. You can literally make your own lip scrubs at home. It's just so much better than buying them. Next up, we're going in with some niacinamide. I obviously love this product. I use it all the time. This is just really good at controlling my texture. So I just use a little drops of uh, niacinamide and just rub it into my skin. Then I go in with my all-time favourite moisturiser. This moisturiser is good. After everything my skin has been through in terms of like um, chemical peels and just stripping it with so much products, you need a really good moisturiser and Aveeno is definitely very moisturising. So I definitely recommend this product as well. And then I go in with some blue tansy oil from Campa Cosmetics. Guys, I have literally stopped using rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary because this oil is so much better. Like it does not leave my skin oily, which is like a big thing for me. I can wear this during the day and night without feeling oily. I love it. It's just extra hydration to lock in that moisture. And it just feels so soothing on my skin. Like I don't know how to explain it but it just feels so soothing so i like to massage this into my skin for a while like usually two to three minutes i just think that this is nice self-care practice anyway it just makes your skin feel so good so yeah So 
so then I go in with some teeth whitening strips and I got these on Amazon actually and I read the reviews so much and like a lot of people had a lot of good things to say so I was like let me try them out and you guys they are actually really good like they have not disappointed um it's just so much easier than getting it done professionally like it's like a temporary fix um so I do this like weekly So whilst I'm waiting for my teeth whitening strips to do its thing, I'm gonna quickly do my hair. So I just like to put my hair up in a bun like this because it's easy. Um, I don't like stressful styles, I just prefer this one. So this is how I do my buns and then I'm gonna do my edges and just dry them off that's really it that's what i do for my hair you guys like if you see me nine times out of ten i'll be in this style <laughs> And that's it guys that's how my hair looks like I said this style is so easy like it literally takes me like 10 minutes I love it so now it's time for me to take out my teeth whitening strips um, so I let this sit for like 30 minutes um, yeah so this is how it looks I just really like it because it's like a visible difference for me like it's like a instant whitening which i really like um yeah and that's it guys that's what i do for my self-care weekly routine if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up so i can make more content like this thank you guys so much for watching I